Addition and subtraction strategies, bridging the decades. 34 plus 17. Now, this doesn't look so easy, but we can easily do it in our heads. Really, what we need to know is what are our friends of 10, the pairs of numbers that make 10. So we think about 4 in 34 and what we can add to 4 to make a whole. 10. So 4 plus 6 makes 10. So I'm going to try 34 plus 6 and then I get 40. Then I wanted to add whatever's left from 17. So 17 take away 6 is 11. So 40 plus 11 is 51. And try it with another number. 23 plus 16. 23, we have to think about what we add to that to get to the next 10. We know that 3 and 7 are friends of 10, so we're going to add 7 to 23. We get 30. Now we have to add whatever's left when we take away 7 from 16 to our answer to find out what 23 plus 16 is. So 16 take away 7 is 9 and 30 plus 9 is 39. Try another one. 28 plus 17, what would you add? 2, that's right. 28 plus 2 is 30. And then what's left over from 17 take away 2? 15, you're right. 30 plus 15 is 45. Easy. Getting faster now. You can do the same thing with subtraction. 35 take away 7. Hmm. What's easier? Well, first, I could make it down to the next 10. So 35 take away hmm, 5 is 30. Then I just have to subtract whatever's left when I take away 5 from 7. 30 take away 2 is 28. You guessed it. 47 take away 29. And this is another easy one. I'm just going to be a little bit um, tricky or smart, however you look at it, and do it a bit more simply. So I say 47 take away 27 is 20. And if I take away whatever's left, the 2, I get 18. So if you know your friends of 10, you can easily add and subtract numbers with subtrahends, that's the number being taken away, greater than the minuend, that's the beginning number. Hope you've learned something today.